Hi everybody. It is Sunday, the 16th of September. Um, it's quarter past two in the afternoon. I have just finished doing a lot of ironing. Um, eight work shirts, dress shirts for Paul. Fourteen of my tops, because I got some new ones from Paul. Um, this is one of the new ones. I super I like it. It's got a bit skew with my vest. Um, yeah, all the kids' trousers, shirts, jumpers. That was fine. It took about an hour and a half. And that's put it all away. Apart from Paul's stuff. He can do that himself. Because um, he's a big boy. You could, you could do this. <laughs> so, um, we've done shopping this morning. I've cooked the chicken. Paul is doing roast potatoes for the first time in his life. Because the last few times I've done it, and they've, they've, I don't know whether it's the taters or I don't think I've done anything different, but the, they've not really been, it's like they've been too thick on the outside, too, they weren't even crispy, they weren't pleasant, um, put it that way, so he was like, I wonder if I can make roast potatoes and like knock yourself out. You, you quite happily, I, you know, have a go, because if that's something you could do, you do it, and I don't have to. Um, I'm quite happy to just have a salad with chicken, uh, but I put some broccoli and no, yeah, broccoli and cauliflower to go with it. But he's going to do the potatoes, so I'm going to go bath the kids soon, which they'll be pleased about. But I might get to watch Grand Prix while they're in the bath. They don't really need me; they just need someone on hand to come in and check they've not chucked water all over the floor. And then I supervise the hair washing and stuff. But sit upstairs, do some crochet, watch the Grand Prix. Super. Uh, so I've start, done some more, I say started, but I got this started yesterday, some more on the parrot stripe narwhal, so there's a little tail fin, I haven't made his side fins yet, I just need to make the horn, um, but I spent quite a lot of time yesterday afternoon after I filmed, because the boys were playing upstairs nicely, they're playing upstairs now, they're very loud, so if you hear it I do apologise, but I cut out all the fleece pieces and I made two arms and I made the trunk and I've actually I've got it upside down <laughs> I've joined the trunk and then I made a decision I'm not continuing with this because this yarn I'm sorry to say is just rubbish it's so hard to sew with because it just it pulls apart and seal here, I don't know if you can see it all, but it's all fluffing, you have to join it, you know, it's just, I'm not happy with it, I'm not giving it to Felicity if I don't trust it, so it's coming apart so I can harvest its innards, <laughs> so I can have the, the insides. Uh, it's okay, so in the, you know, crocheting the fleece in, um, I think it would be nice with thicker fleece, um, but I'm going to work with what I've got, and yeah. But I don't like the tension, I don't like how you can see the the tights through it, so I maybe need to go down a hook size, but I'm not using that yarn again. That's the Panda Chenille from Lollies. I'm sure it's fine in other projects, it's just not working for me in that project. So I'm going to try the Aldi stuff and see how we go. It seems a different construction. So there's that. And it's quite you can I don't know if you can see the white inside it. But it's a bit fly away. I may face the same problem with this and I, I may be being too rough with it. What's this made of? 100% polyester. I don't know. Oh I'll try it and see how I go. I may decrease the hook size to get tighter tension. Um, I don't know, I was only using an 8mm hook. I don't know if this is, I doubt it's as thick as banana blanket. Um, this panda stuff, I don't know what it lists. I don't know if it even gives the yarn size on this. I don't think it does. Super bulky, 6. Mm. Mm, not really, but I think we have to because it's 
I don't know, because it's thicker. I mean, I would say that's chunky, maybe, but super bulky. Eight millimeter needles, it recommends. Don't iron, don't. What's that one? Bleach? Don't tumble dry. Wash delicate at 30, I think. Yeah, so I'll give this a go and see how, how it progresses. I'm liking the pattern. Um, got no problems with the pattern, how it's laid out, how the you do the fleece and stuff. Um, I just wanted it to be good. I mean, this was had the yarn been better. This was great to join. You just you like you join it with your crochet hook. No needle. You know, you don't have to get your needle out. Um, I didn't do very well with securing the head still very wobbly but again the yarn was coming apart when I was trying to decrease it so I don't know I'm blaming my tools I'm not sure um, but yeah so I'm going to sneeze <coughs> excuse me I think I'm getting poorly I've been taking cold tablets for a few days to try and you know keep it at bay but today I'm feeling a bit more, my throat hurts a bit and I keep sneezing but I think that's the yarn. <laughs> Fluffy. Um, so yes, I'm going to, uh, and also I'm going to pull the tights out as well. Because I paid for them, so I will take those out. Um, obviously this fleece is a loss but it, I've got plenty, so it's not a hardship. So... You watch, I rip the tights now. Um, it's fastened. Just undo a bit. See, it's um, you can't you can't rip back with this really. Not if you want it to survive. Um, but yeah, so a new elephant will be starting. And if I can't get on with that, I'm just going to not bother because it was only an idea, uh, and I wanted to try the pattern, which I enjoy. Um, but banana blanket yarn is too rich for my blood. It's it's a lot of money, and we don't really get the coupons over here. We couldn't say go. I think it's twelve or thirteen pounds here, um, and we don't get like a fifty percent off coupon or anything um, like you can do in the states. So you you know can't get it for a fiver or six quid or whatever. Um, I suppose I can always see if there are other alternatives I could use, but. We'll just see how we get with this, and I know Denise. Um, oh, Denise has made stuff with this. I think Sean has too. Um, so I'll, I'll give it a go. I don't know what people use this stuff for, whether it's blankets or whatever. But I don't know. I can't see that there's much given it, so I don't know how it would stand up to use. But anywho, so that's a fail on my part. Or on the yarns part, I don't know, but a fail nonetheless. So it, it's lovely and soft. It's it's gorgeous, but it's not really for amigurumi, I don't think. Or I am mega heavy-handed, and I don't. Know. But anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling at you. I don't think I've really got anything else to say. Have I got anything else to say? No. I'll report back tomorrow and how Paul's roasties were. Or whether I just had salad. <laughs> um, but I'm sure it would do fine. He's got a Marcus Waring, as I said, pattern recipe he wants to follow. Marcus Waring is a chef who appears on telly and stuff. We call him Hairy Waring because he's called Beardy. He was quite clean, clean cut um, when he first started on telly and then he got all beardy and so we call him Hairy Waring. I think he wants to be like a super villain or something. <laughs> We, do, we like to make up stuff about people on telly. It makes us giggle. It makes me get everything. Makes me giggle. Easily amused. But um, yeah. So I hope you've had a good weekend. Yeah. Keep thinking. There's something I need to say. I'll turn the camera off, and then be like, "Ah, oh, that was it." I forgot to add any pictures of the library on. So I will try and do that on this one. I don't know, I keep forgetting. Um, I'll say something and then, I, oh, I've got the video exporting or uploading. I'm like, oh, I forgot. So, 
hope you're all ready for Monday because it's coming whether you're ready or not. Just another week. Just keep going. Just keep going. Don't think anything particularly special is happening right next week. Just more of the same. Busy, busy. But I like it. I've got plenty to do. I can get in, get my head down, get on with it. Gym tomorrow, I believe. Unless I feel poorly. But So yes, uh, stay well and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye guys.